So we recently uh, picked up a new scan tool. This one is the AutoFix Evo Scan Ultra, uh, which is actually made by Autel. It's uh, very similar to the uh, Autel Maxi Sys. Um, we were recently uh, introduced to the uh, AutoFix line and had uh, picked up their uh, D1 um, light, uh, which is a really, really neat tool. And um, we, but we wanted something with topological mapping as well. Uh, so we, we uh, went ahead and picked up this uh, this uh, EvoScan Ultra. Um, the neat thing about topological mapping is that it allows you to uh, actually have a map uh, on the screen of all the modules on the vehicle, which for modern vehicles with uh, 10, 20, 30 modules on the vehicle can really be helpful when you have communication issues between modules. Um, so if you're looking uh, for a new scan tool, um, we get a lot of customers ask us, you know, what, what we use. And our scan tools were getting a little outdated, so uh, it, was, it was way past time to, to upgrade. And uh, we've, we've really been enjoying these AutoFix uh, scan tools. And, they, you know, they have quite a range of tools, uh, you know, ranging from some that are fairly intro, entry level, like our, our D1 Lite, but still with, with really great capabilities, um, up to this uh, professional level tool, uh, which is the... Uh, um, Evo Scan Ultra. Um, these these are Android tablet based uh, scan tools and you know really light, compact, easy to carry, fast. Um, definitely something to check out if you're in the market for a scan tool. So anyway, uh, we were we we're playing with this and wanted to take the opportunity to um, explain a few things about uh, the 7.3 liter power stroke injector buzz test. Uh, we kind of end up explaining this over and over. Um, to customers, so we just thought we would do it in uh, one video here, and hopefully this will help more people. Uh, so the purpose of the 7.3 liter power stroke injector buzz test is basically to check the electrical continuity of the circuit from the IDM, that's the injector drive module, through the vehicle wiring harness up to the valve cover gasket, through the pass-through connector at the gasket, through the under valve cover harness and all the way to the injector itself. Uh, and then that test also would then check the integrity of the solenoid and the ability of the armature plate and the solenoid to move. It really doesn't do anything for testing most of the mechanical portions of the injector. Now, so let me just explain uh, what the buzz test does. Uh, you'll use the scan tool and we'll show that in a minute. Um, to command the injector drive module to electrically oscillate the solenoids on all eight injectors. So when you hit the button to command the test, the IDM will first command all eight injectors to buzz at one time. You'll hear one loud buzz. Then, very important, it will command the injectors to oscillate one at a time in numerical order. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, not in firing order. Uh, so the, the injectors will uh, um, alternate from side to side because the injectors are numbered 1357 front to back on the um, passenger side, 2468 front to back on the driver's side. Um, so they'll be alternating from side to side. So you'll hear them each buzz for a couple seconds uh, with brief pauses between them. Now, what that's doing, of course, like we said, is, is testing the electrical integrity of the in, entire circuit. If you hear a difference in tone between the injectors, um, that can indicate that there is a fault with the injector. Um, but one of the things we want to point out, and this is where a lot of people really misunderstand what's going on in the buzz test, is that because of the way the IDM electrical internal circuitry functions, Anytime the IDM sends a signal to any injector to buzz or oscillate that injector, there's also a very small background current going to the other eight injectors at the same time. So let's say, for example, that we, uh, let's just call this um, cylinder number three injector here, and we just go ahead and electrically disconnect that injector. We use our scanner, command the IDM to do the buzz test. We'll hear all eight injectors buzz loud all at one time, and then we'll start the numerical sequence. So cylinder one buzzes, we get a nice loud buzz. Cylinder two buzzes, we get a nice loud buzz. When we get to cylinder three, or injector three, in the sequence, 
there will be a very faint background buzz. And a lot of people misinterpret that and think, okay, I must have an electrical circuit to the, inje to the injector because I heard a buzz. The injector itself must be faulty. And in most cases, that's probably a wrong assumption. What you're hearing when we get to that injector that's unplugged or has a faulty circuitry, probably in the, the pass-through connector, the under valve cover harness are the most common locations, but you could also have a bad solenoid or bad wiring between the IDM and the valve cover gasket. Uh, but anyway, when, when you hear that very faint buzz, what that actually is is the other seven injectors getting that very small background current. Uh, so don't misinterpret that as a bad injector. Realize that that is probably a wiring or circuitry problem to that injector, and you will need to proceed with diagnosis of that circuit problem. Um, also, at the end of the buzz test, the scanner will report codes, and more than likely in the case that we just discussed where cylinder three was electrically disconnected, you would get a high-low circuit code fault. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get the scanner connected up to a real vehicle, and we'll run a buzz test, and uh, hopefully you'll be able to see and hear that. Subject vehicle 1995-73 power stroke. About to activate the buzz test. All eight injectors should buzz at once. And then individually in numerical order. And we had eight uh, uniform buzzes. So everything on this truck, as far as the buzz test, passes.